This is the sound of thousands of snapping shrimp. The snapping shrimp has one normal claw and one oversized so-called snapper claw, which can be closed with lightning speed and produces the snapping sound. The snap is used to communicate with other shrimp and is also used to stun or even kill prey animals. To study the sound production mechanism in snapping shrimp, a shrimp was tethered on a small platform and the sound signal was recorded with a hydrophone. The snapping shrimp was then tickled with a paintbrush and imaged with a high-speed digital video camera. Although it was always thought that the sound was produced by the two claw halves hitting each other, it is seen here that a large bubble is formed. It is the implosion of this cavitation bubble that produces the sound of snapping shrimp. The bubble is formed in a fast water jet squeezed out from between the claws. The water jet velocity is so high that the corresponding pressure drops below the vapor pressure of water and a cavitation bubble is generated which will initially grow in size, then it collapses violently. The high-speed video images and the sound recordings were correlated in time. In this side view, the claw is fully opened. At this position, the claw is fully closed, no sound, while the prominent snap coincides with the bubble collapse. We set up a model based on the rayleigh plessis equation to study the bubble dynamics. In this model, a Gaussian pressure drop was used to reproduce the bubble radius as a function of time, as also observed in the experimental high-speed video recordings. From the dynamics of the bubble, the sound pressure curve was calculated. The precursor signal before the loud snap, representing the bubble growth and shrinkage, are also in good agreement with the experimentally determined hydrophone signal. Now that you know that snapping shrimp use cavitation damage to catch their prey, for example this small crab here, you better stay away from the acoustic weapon of snapping shrimp. <laughs>